In Paris, it's a big problem. There's not enough apartments. It's more and more expensive. Same problems in New York and London. People are kind of looking for solutions because they have small apartments that are very expensive. You have to, to be happy with a small surface you have and try to figure out how you can change things. The idea of this bed is like you don't have to move the furniture to use the bed. We just, you know, take the bed and just lift it like this. So. Voila. The system works with a counterweight, okay? That's why I can lift it up like this with no efforts because the bed in itself is weighing 140 kilos. So that's quite a lot. And if I can manipulate it like this, it's because there is a counterweight that goes up and down when the bed is going uh, down and up. You just have to pull it, no problem. And it is suspended, it is half suspended to the ceiling by this little thing that it's attached to the ceiling. So obviously we need a very good ceiling which is the case of most of the ceiling in Paris. Every recent building is built with concrete, so with concrete there is no problem. As long as the material is plain and uh, it's usually plastered with wooden beam or iron beams, is no problem as well. So in nine cases out of 10, it's okay. It's not a problem. And we have as well solutions when, the, when there's no ceiling or when it's, it's, when it's not solid enough, we can sometimes put the loads on the walls so right here, the load is partly on this Yeah, part. it's half of the load of the bed, half of it, 70 kilos that are suspended to the ceiling. The rest of the weight is supported by the floor. Depending on the height that you stop the bed, you can use the space in different ways. This model, the height is 52 centimeters and it goes like this. 52 centimeters is slightly higher than a normal bed. Well, it's actually quite higher, but you don't need a ladder or something special to go onto the bed. You can just go like this, no problem. Use the bed, like, you know, very old beds, you know, sometimes they were like higher than the ones are now, but it's no problem. The counterpart is that you can't leave exactly what you want as the furniture uh, underneath, like a table, or just a sofa. This sofa is kind of nice because it's kind of low, so it's no problem. But you are limited the choice of furniture you can put under. But if you choose another height, like this model, you can leave a sofa, you can leave an armchair, you can leave a desk. So this model is slightly different from the other one. Voilà. When the bed gets down, it's exactly above the furniture. You can choose to have or not the lights. They automatically are turning off when the bed goes down. But just to be sure, for security reasons, that there is no electricity into the bed when you dip into the bed. Ça <laughs> beaucoup ça. As you can see, the weight of the person is not suspended to the ceiling because it goes on the floor through these legs, two legs here, and there are two other things inside. So there are four, four supports, and so uh, the admissible weight on the bed is 250 kilos. So, so uh, over 500 pounds, right? Yeah, That's yeah, okay. So, so then the idea is that you are using them underneath for many other things. So yeah, exactly. Right? Because the idea, as you can see, is you can gain almost four square meters with this kind of thing. That's a place that is, you know, usually taken by the bed. The alternative that you normally see is what we call a Murphy bed. Yeah, a Murphy bed. A Murphy bed usually takes a lot of room into the room, into the bedroom, because it's usually between 60 and 50 centimeters, even when the bed is folded. And when you unfold it, you have to remove, if you have furniture in front of it, you have to remove them so you can unfold the bed. And third thing about the Murphy bed, that's not very nice, you have usually to attach the mattress and to remove the pillows. With this thing, it's very different because the structure here is only 15 centimeters, so it's not very wide. Once the bed is above like this, it doesn't take a lot of room 
into the room. Now with the Murphy bed, you have to attach the mattress, remove the pillows. It's kind of nice, but it's not very uh, convenient. With this thing, the bed can be used exactly as a normal bed. You can make the bed or not. You can leave uh, the pillows. You do exactly. You don't have to attach the mattress. It's very easy. You simple, simply lift the bed when you want space. If you have chosen this height of 78 centimeters, if you can leave like a desk or a table. Okay, this one is lower. When it's lower, you don't have as much choice of uh, the furniture that you can live under. The idea is that you, most of people they put that in their living room, but some, you know, it's very useful as well for teenagers because they want usually when they're 14, 15, they want a, like a larger bed, but the room is not as big. So this is very interesting. So this one is, as you can see, this one is not attached to the ceiling. It's just on the wall. There's no suspending system, okay? And it's, it works very well for one place, one person. With this model, we have like a little desk that you can uh, just fold like this. And you just... Up. Yeah, it's security. If you have small children, you don't want that they play with the bed or whatever, you can just... Do like this, and the, just it stays, it can't go it's down with this. And same thing here, but sometimes if you want to change the mattress, if I do like this, if I remove the mattress, it will automatically, see, it goes, start to rise. yeah, it starts to rise because I'm, I'm removing the mattress. So to avoid this, when you make the bed, you can just have this locker. So when there is like this, you know, you, you can't, even if you remove the mattress, it won't go up again. Okay. So the idea is it's fast, like you don't have to make the bed, like you could have yeah, a teenager yeah. who left it. Exactly, you can do the bed like this, no problem, it works. It's not like a Murphy bed. You can do exactly what you want. We can have this, you know, like a USB plug and uh, just a plug or uh, we have this light as well, which are kind of nice. The idea of this bed is you have the same comfort as a normal bed, which is not the case of, you know, like a convertible sofa. You put the mattress you want, you can, you know, you buy a mattress, you can have a very thick mattress, you can have like, there's no limit, so the only limit is like 80 kilos, and 80 kilos for a mattress is a lot. So we have, we can say we have almost no limit for the mattress. I don't know if you see on this place, there. Yeah, the top. Yes, exactly. We can also move and put some items. And you can just reach up and put things uh, in. Uh, yeah, yeah. And if you, uh, if you can see the bed from here, it's kind of hide a little bit the bed. So some people does, don't want to see the bed once in, into the ceiling. So you can see it hides a little bit the bed. Uh. Wait. And as well, it's kind of stairs that you can access the bed. <laughs> the idea is you can use the space in two different ways. You can use the living room into a bedroom. You can use even a spare room. Usually it will be like an office or something. But you can have this bed when you have guests. That's more convenient than to have a sofa no convertible so far that is, has nothing to do in uh, an office. Mais on vend les deux, alors? Yeah, ah oui. Tu la laisses, Marie, à chaque fois la, la sécurité? C'est exprès? For a teenager room as well, it's very, uh, it's very nice because the teenager room is like the whole apartment for him or her. So when is he or her sleep, it's okay, it's like a bedroom and it's a living room. When people kind of start working, you know, even if they have a nice salary, when they're single, the only almost apartment they can buy is a studio. Bonne nuit, hein? And the studio, if it's very big, it's okay. You can have a little corner to put your bed, but it's nicer to have things like this because you have more space. Yeah, like during the day, you have more space. So that's, that's cool.
even when you invite friends or when you, if you want to do a little party or something. So just, uh, it's no problem. Ça marche pas? The bed takes a lot of place. And it's only like, in the maximum, it's half of the day. So it's usually eight hours a day. It's a lot of room and it's not used. So, so why not use it? Thank you.